Welcome back to MISC. This is the show that I do each and every week that details what I've been consuming, which can include stuff that I've been reading, watching, or listening to. This week, just like last week, I was really busy. New businesses are a bitch to start, apparently. And I only had time to watch one thing. But that one thing, I devoured. It's the fourth season of BoJack Horseman. Now, many of you, perhaps have fallen off the BoJack train. You maybe have tried the first episode, maybe got to even episode two, and decided, nah, this isn't for me. It's weird. It's just not funny. I don't like it. And I don't blame you. I was right there with you. But the thing about it is that the weird part of that first season is that the first six episodes are very much not very good. They're not very funny. And then after that, it becomes probably one of the best shows of all time. I don't know how else to explain it to people. I really, really do believe that. It is a very special show. For those of you who may not have ever seen a single episode, this was developed by a man named Raphael Bob Waksberg, and it stars Will Arnett. It has uh, Amy Sedaris, Alison Brie, uh, Aaron Paul, Paul F. Tompkins. There's some really great voiceover artists in this, and it is an anthropomorphic horse who used to have an 80s television show, or maybe an early 90s television show, that was super popular, you know, in that sitcom way, and he is struggling now in his kind of early to midlife crisis. That, it, it, this world is filled with both humans and animal hybrids. It is, it, again, just looking at it, it is a weird show to try and pitch to people. But it's, what it's really done over the last few years is really focus in on, I don't know, um, really emotional parts of the world today. There was, and, and, and there's, there's been stuff about families, about uh, coming to grips with depression, with... Uh, understanding different sexualities with, uh, uh, you know, dealing with, with substance abuse. There's a lot of stuff that this show deals with that you wouldn't think of when you first start watching it. There's two episodes very specifically that I want to talk about here uh, this, this time. So in episode six of the fourth season, if I could speak. So episode six of the fourth season is called Stupid Piece of Shit. And if you want to understand what depression about what negative thoughts really look like or feel like on a day-to-day if you've been trying to understand that philosophy or not philosophy but that uh, point of view from people this is the episode that you need to see this shows you what i basically did for like around eight to ten years where you just are in your mind the entire time second guessing what you're doing Believing that you're the worst person in the world, and it's just a constant over and over and over and over again type of thing. Bojack is also dealing with the fact that he has a daughter that he did not know existed, and trying to really figure out how he is supposed to support her, while of course only being able to think about himself. And his devolvement into that depressive state really shows more about that character and you understand exactly why Bojack continues to do the things that he does, even though it seems super self-destructive. The other episode is episode 11, which is called Time's Arrow. And this guest stars Christine Baranski as as, um, Bojack's mother uh, and Matthew Broderick as his... uh, Oh, sorry, it's not... I I said (laughs) that is incorrect. It, it actually has Wendy Malick as as uh, as his mother, but Matthew Broderick as his as his father. This really hit home with me because it really delves into dementia and how that really how that impacts the mind and those of us around it. Now, Bojack does not have the greatest relationship with his mother. That is absolutely true, but. In this episode, because it focuses on his mother, you can see where her mind is actually going, how she gets pulled into the past, where she thinks that she's actually in the present, and then how that impacts the future. Like, it's a really interesting um, usage of time. Uh, Christopher Nolan would be very proud of this episode, I think. 
This is such a special show. I really think, to reiterate what I said at the beginning, that this is one of the best shows, not just on right now, but of all time. If you stop watching it, I would really, really recommend that you go and give it a second try. Uh, if you get to the end of the, f the first season and you're still not on board, it's doubtful that you're probably ever going to like it, but I would say get to the end of season one. And if that's enough, if you're pulled forward into season two, you are going to be so rewarded by sticking with this show because it goes into places that are super emotional, that are super resonant, and push not only animation, but the way that television tells stories forward. That's my two cents. If you've seen the show, let me know down in the comments below if you think that that's correct or it's completely bogus. I want to hear your thoughts either way you fall onto that spectrum. Uh, thanks so much for watching. My name is Kyle. Uh, until we see each other next week on Monday, consume good stuff. I know I said I was only going to talk about one thing, but right here at the very end, very quickly, I do want to give a huge congratulations to Andrew Huang, fellow Canadian YouTuber who just crossed the 1 million subscriber threshold, which could not happen to a nicer person and a greater guy. If you have not checked out his channel, you really should. He does a whole host of things, but mostly centered around music. He is passionate about all forms of sonic energy coming at him. He'll mash up genres. He'll go into detail about music theory, uh, comedy he'll throw himself into as well, but really he's centered around music. And yes, it's partly because we've met a few times and he's very, very kind and nice and usually actually remembers who I am uh, because I'm a huge narcissist. Congratulations, Andrew. Really, really could not be more well-deserved. More people should check him out. Andrew Huang, link down in the description.